So what's up folks? So I've had this Forerunner for several days now. Once you spend some time in it, you realize that it's built more around being a very capable vehicle and less so a very technologically advanced vehicle. Now that's not saying it doesn't have technology. It does. It has features and amenities that you would expect in, I guess, kind of that entry level technology package of most vehicles. However, from an off-road perspective, it really dives into having the right type of technology. An electronic rear locker, it has different types of terrain management, different crawl assist modes. It really gives you the tools you need to be an effective SUV if you're gonna take it out in the woods, if you're gonna take it out in the mud, the snow, if you're basically an outdoors kind of person. Now the strange thing about driving this SUV is it's on-road driving dynamics. It definitely has more body roll than you might be used to. When you hit the brakes, it definitely wants to lean forward. It's got a very interesting on-road behavior, and that's mainly because the overall design of the suspension is really built around going off-road. It has some really plush Fox shocks that make it a very smooth ride, but overall, its on-road characteristics aren't really designed around handling so you have to be a little bit more cognizant of what you're doing and how you're driving and how you're maneuvering because it's definitely gonna feel a lot softer than your typical suspension in a car or an SUV when you're driving on the highway or interstate so we are about to take this Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro out and get it a little bit dirty. We are gonna take it to an area that I filmed before, but we're gonna try to do a little bit of off-roading in it. Nothing major. In reality, I don't really do off-roading a lot. A lot of people say, well, why do you need four-wheel drive if you don't do off-roading? I think four-wheel drive is kind of like a fire extinguisher. It's good to have when you need it, but you don't necessarily need it all the time. That being said, the area that we're going to might be a little bit wet because it's just started raining but it should be a good little test of some of the basic four-wheel drive characteristics of this SUV. You know, the most interesting thing to note about this 4Runner is it's a very plain package. There's not a ton of technology here. It's basically the same type of technology you might expect to get in maybe an XLT or an LT Chevy or Ford pickup truck and maybe even a little less than that in terms of screen size and discomfort features. But that being said, it's still an outrageously reliable, capable vehicle. So when you get a 4Runner, I think you realize that you're sacrificing modern tech. In exchange, you're getting a vehicle that can pretty much go anywhere you take it. A lot of people would argue that this vehicle is just as capable as any military vehicle you might get, aside from not being armored. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is put this in four low. I'm gonna switch my terrain management on, put it in drive, and then put the speed in the second option.
So that was fun. Like I said, guys, it's not extreme off-roading by any means, but it's definitely fun to see the capability of the truck when you need it. If you're in a situation where you're around some real soft dirt or soft sand and mud, if you need to go up an incline, things like that. This definitely has a very, very, very confident, inspiring ride about it when you are taking it pretty much anywhere. And that is all the mud coming off the tires. Overall, guys, this is an extremely capable SUV. It's definitely one that if you had a lineup of different SUVs that you wanted to take out in the safari, out in the woods, out in the mud, it would probably be at the top of your list because it is just such a confidence-inspiring four-wheel drive system. It just feels like it's not going to get stuck. And if it did get stuck, you would have to be in a pretty extraordinarily bad situation. And you might even be able to get yourself out of it. Anyways, guys, I've had a lot of fun driving this Toyota. It is really, really an amazing SUV. It has some things that I would like to see done to it, some improvements. I'd love to see more technology. But as it stands, it's definitely one of those SUVs that if you're looking for a very, very capable four-wheel drive SUV, this should absolutely be on your list. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.